Alright guys, welcome back. This is Proof. You're watching Tyranny. Alright, where am I? I haven't played this in a while. Let's check it out. World map. We're at Echo Call Crossing. And we're completing the story quest and this side quest. Forge Bound Iron. We need to be looking for a shipment of iron that went missing. And the Battle of Echo Call Crossing. Okay. So, um... I gotta meet with Antio and his company. Alright. They look like they're right here. On it. And bitter quip. Back over here. Maintain defensive posture. Winded, the disfavored commander clutches his blood stained chest piece as he takes a deep breath, gathering his thoughts. His focus is on the scattered, wounded men around him. He is yet to notice. He Bitter quip. Your plan has been a rousing success. Most of our troops dead, a bridge destroyed, and the veteran guard pushed back to where we started. Ladies and gentlemen, the finest the North has to offer. And for your next act, I needed those furies on point. Don't mock my strategy after working against it. We could have taken them. All right, remain silent. You just wasted dozens of lives walking to a trap. I'll mock your idiocy as much as I want, so long as it continues to amuse me. This is a disaster. <laughs> Fatebinder, where were you earlier? You could have stopped this colon might from deviating from the plan. My gang serves at my pleasure, not yours, and your plan failed to please. You two quit your moaning. Antio, explain the mess. Well, that's somebody else, Antio. Oh, Barak is saying that. We tried to rush the western bridge, blow for blow. We had them running, but... His gauge dropped. The gaze drops. A long sigh escapes. But halfway across... Halfway across the whole damn river just... The blood chanter gesticulates, flailing for words. Lurched up! The cursed Matani swallowed the bridge and most everyone on it. Only real soldiers we have left are the Scarlet Furies that I, quite wisely, directed into a flanking position. A few of us kept our footing, but the advantage was lost. We had to fall back. As we did, the Oathbreakers surged down the East Bridge. We held ground until they fled across the river. But now we're back where we started with only a fraction of the strength. Hmm. Yep. A member of the School of Tides is alive and working with the Vendrian Guard. I assure you, she's the culprit. Had we focused our strength into one perfect lunge, we could have crossed the bridge before the enemy knew what was killing them. But it's not too late. We can use the Scarlet Furies too. No, fool, stop suggesting ways to get my gang killed. Are you working for the Oathbreakers? We should wait until the enemy's no longer on high alert. Hmm. What would you suggest? There's a time for initiative and time for patience. We should try a different part of the river or come back later. The enemy's too wary now. Yeah, a different part of the river, obviously. Are you in such a rush to see Kairos Id Sorry. Kairos' edict come to pass? Sorry, Quip, but I'll strap you to my back and charge down that other bridge alone. But doing nothing isn't an option. Hmm. Well, if this were a hearing of grievances, I'd let you call the shots, but we're talking about the lives of my gang. Conscripts are a copper a dozen, but Furies, I have worked hard to secure the loyalty of my gang. I will not scrap fine warriors on so buffoonish a plan. Hmm. Subterfuge. Let's get my. Well, I guess naturally she'd be getting her athletic set. I gained wrath. First lands a telling blow, staggering the chanter. Blue smile covers his face. Bloody mail you want. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Subterfuge. If this were a hearing, yada yada yada. Here we go, this will work. Huh? Do you think your words would change? The Chanter smiles wide. I meant to say, perhaps the Fate Binder is right. Antio is in charge. When you meet next with the Archons, you will tell the voices I was instrumental in the success of the crossing. Just like that, the disfavored warrior crumples his face in his palm. No way. I won't question you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Yes, you'd best be thanking me and the Fate Binder. We've saved the disfavored time and time again. What's one more? Listen up, for this to work, my furies need a moment to get out of cover. Fatebinder, you'll need to run up the East Bridge. Don't get yourself killed, just draw their attention. I'll signal my furies to send a rope across while you have them occupied. 
There's no time to waste. Let's hope your gang delivers. Antio turns to you, nodding with a heavy frown. Thank you, Fatebinder. Good hunting. Ah, oh, man. Sorry, struggling with the voices. Early in the morning, just waked and baked. Ugh. Alright, quickly, Fatebinder, to the bridge. To the bridge. Alright, it's double time. Yeah, there's a bunch of bodies up here. Hurting. Alright, let's see the stuff to the stash. Oh yeah, I forgot it grabs everything in the area. What? What's that? Vendrian Guard Heavy Bronze Island. Okay, cool. Oh, she might be able to use that actually. Um, let's just check that out. What am I wearing now? It's some bronze bulwark, and it's fine quality. This is not fine quality. So yeah, it's nowhere near as good. But, um, well, I think this helmet's better. Yeah, everything about this helmet's better. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, I just have to Come. use this. It's kind of annoying. Oh, damn it. It's kind of annoying. Fuck, he's already injured? Damn it. I'll tear your Don't melt by your ass. Oh shit. Knock my ass down. I gotta really take a look at combat. A little more depth soon. Frequently getting worked. What's this part over here? Hmm, have a look here. The soldier has numerous wounds on his body. The cold forms of two elderly villagers lay nearby. Two victims that Ophelite cannot that he cannot shield from harm. Hmm. Oh, a new bow, magic. Ah, to her. Broken armor. Sorry, guys. Uh, On the lookout. These ones want. Ah, oh, you could have made it. You there. And you, signaling her warriors to the bridge, a woman in the regalia of a Vendorian guard captain pierces the commotion with her shrill soprano. Get over there. Sorry, get over here. <clears throat> this favorite are back. Guess they forgot a javelin or two. Be a doll, would you? Hurl them back. Wait, not another disfavored. This is the fate finder. She looks you up and down. Odd, I would have expected, well, just more soldiers. Here to convince us to kneel down and lose our heads? Hmm. We need to resolve this inter insurrection with as little killing as possible. Uh, I have a hard time believing such words. What is the mantra? Kairos does not wish to rule the wasteland. With his favorite, have stopped taking work slaves. Don't pretend we aren't <clears throat> targeted for elimination. Your friends seem to have misplaced most of their squad. I guess they're somewhere in my river. She shrugs sarcastically. My family's been protecting this river for six generations, so it's easy to lose track of all the looters and vagrants we've had to feed to the eels. Unless you want to try running and leap over, you're stuck. Maybe try heading downstream to Placid Crossing. We have more warriors there, and I'm certain they'd be just as happy to kill you. Hmm. The tide caster, caster that did this, the same one that met me for a truce. 
trying to take stock of her crew. She lets out a loud snort, laughing to herself. We've had unexpected help of late. Kill and rape or well enough and everyone comes out of the woodwork to shiv you in the air. Uh, hold your words a second. I have a statement prepared from Captain Ari for the, just this moment. She reaches into her belt and with an impish smile pulls out her hand to reveal nothing but a grouping hand gesture for penis. <laughs> Wait, there's a second missive here somewhere. She feigns scouring her pockets once more before displaying her phallic gesture again. As is musing as I find this soon-to-be corpse, it would appear that our distraction has paid off. He nods to the west. Satisfied, she turns to leave, calling out to you as she does. I wouldn't keep standing there, Fade by The river's currents are quite unpredictable. It's alright. She's a shit talker, that one. Not bad, though. Hard not to sympathize with these people, just defending their land. Alright. Well done. That distraction was exactly what we needed. Raven Ash protects. My comrades are getting their second wind and ready to try this once again. Well done. You were toying with the Oathbreakers. My gang had, sorry, while you were, my gang had the opportunity to set a rope on the collapsed bridge over yonder if you furies want to join you in the battle. Alright, sorry guys, getting impatient. <laughs> I know I should be reading, but uh, what's this rope they're talking about? Oh, there. Wait, no, where the fuck's the rope? I want to set the rope on the bridge. Sorry, I can't. Oh, yeah, there, okay. No problem, I'll cross that bridge. Oh, they're all dead already. Oh shit, no they're not. Oh shit. shit. Okay, just prone. Okay. Let's get this straight. Let's knock this asshole down. You cast this shit on us. And, and how do I change the speed to normal? I wish there was like probably there's a button somewhere. I'll tell it's on or off. Okay, anyway, here I am. Over here. Finish this asshole off. You too. Give me a little shiv. You can Titans touch him. You kick some ass. There we go. Who's this? Oh, that's the other scrum fury. Kick a lot of ass. Fucking flaming, flaming daggers and shit. Magic Sage's Hood and uh, a staff. Let's use the shivs, this little magic shiv. Huh? Slow and steady. Can't do that. Uh, shut up. I'm not a butcher. Retreat! Captain Matani signals for her troops to run to the nearby village. There's too many. They've crossed the river. Pull back. The Vendrin Guard soldiers rush forward and adopt a close formation, covering Captain Matani as she retreats toward the nearby settlement. Raise your hand if you'll leave behind orphans. <laughs> One of the soldiers panics. <laughs> Raise your hand if you'll leave behind orphans. That's pretty funny. Okay. Uh... They're fucking ranged guys, they're so annoying. Alright, good. Get those two. Fucking assholes disengaging. Guess I could probably drop that. She's 
a little bit hurt. Or wounded. Let's, uh, I don't know, just kick his ass. Sneak him in close range. Alright. What are you doing up here? Seems to be doing okay. I don't know why you wanted to come up here, but let's get a quick work of this guy. They're always disengaging. Can't, like, fucking stop them when they disengage. On fire. Yeah, I don't even think I equipped that magic uh, bow yet. Way more range. Alright, let's see. Range 8 meters, range 12 meters, yeah, better range. A little slower recovery, more damage. I think I prefer that. What's that? Looks like a hand. <laughs> Merchant's bracers. What do have these got? The same. Have a look here. Ooh, loot. On the lookout. Oh, we can part two of this area. Nice. Cool. Uh, I wonder if I should talk to them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll mention you guys. I don't really care though. <clears throat> They're here! Run! Go now! Crushing you. Made short work. Who's this guy? On the lookout. Please, my children are on the side. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm not a murderer. On the What's this? Iron javelin, eh? Where are you getting iron weapons from? That shit was. Alright, oh, it's the quest. Spirit guard can't protect us! We must go! This creates a small series of notches, top left. Drag from to a nearby home. Alright, that's probably the missing uh, iron or whatever. I'll be your shepherd. I'd say that's worth a second glance. Nice. Okay. Jeez, I'm a jerk. Right. Hi. Stepping in again. Crush 
system. It's crafting. Ooh, magic armor. Bronze bolt work. Kind of the same as what I've got on already. Oh, it is. Let's do that. Yeah, let's roof here. Want this village? Yes. I will take it. Moving cautiously. Kairos, the soldiers are here. What's this? It's a hat? All right, what was that fucking house right down here? I thought it was there. Sorry, I can't. Oh. Weird. Maybe I have to clear the area first. What's that? Oh, those these barrels. I'll stay down near the remnants. Okay, she comes again. Matami Sybil's shrill voice pierces the air. A clarion call addresses addressed not to you, but to the citizens of the village. Do not fear, sons and daughters of Apex. Carlos hounds are at our doorstep. The Vengeran Guard will not abandon you. Brave warriors of the Vendring Guard, these foreigners and salads mean to burn our homes and butcher our families. Summon what strength you have and show Kairos the price of taking our land. Several soldiers step out from half closed doorways and dimly lit hall alleyways, fury blazing in their eyes. The partisans shout battle cries to marshal their courage, and you see the gray gleam of iron as they brandish their weapons and charge. How in the name of Ash did these hopeful get their hands on iron weapons? Beric regards the locals with momentary panic and bewilderment. Or setting his stance for battle. Your day. Oops, shit, I wasn't paying attention. I really have to change my settings. Okay, you go down here. Let's be okay, and let's just drop him. that and you thrust good it's under this guy and now we can run one of these cool this guy's taking a while to die though There you go. No problem. Hi. Sorry, I can't. Slow and Maybe I have to clear the area first. Does he have that already? Sweet. That Kohal village appears to be unusually well supplied. It's likely that the locals have been helping the revolutionary forces for some time. Sorry, I can't. This home has been bisected by Earthshaker magic. Antio likely ordered his mages to do so to intimidate the villagers. Alright, let's see what's going on now. To all my speed. All right, let's see. They're here. Weapons up. And remember those no longer with us. Honor them with their courage and prowess. The captain turns to face you as you approach. Fate binder. We are proper warriors, are we not? This battle should remain between those of us who specialize in dealing death. 
Let the villagers go. They did not ask for this conflict. Um, I'm not here for slaughter. I'd prefer to talk. Really? The trail of my dead friend says otherwise. What is there to say, Fatebinder? Unless it's sorry for all the murders followed by a big swig of hemlock, it's too late for words to solve anything. The captain looks at you expectantly. A sword will stand ready, and muffled cries and sobs of villagers fill the air. Hmm. My goal is to gain your surrender without bloodshed. Commendable notion, but a tragically simple one at that. If any here could stomach life in the chorus or submission to a disfavored war camp, that person already surrendered years back. The folks standing before you are the ones serious about our freedom. Besides, we are reneged on a surrender. I know any deal you come to offer is just a trap, as the Archon's pride demands that they bury us. So sorry, but we've been at this too long. Death or glory, no third option. Hmm. Run all of you, or you have to deal with my allies when they arrive in force. Or... Uh... <coughs> could tell them to run. Lost loyalty with Barrack. Binder, what do you mean by this dereliction of duty? I could see us letting the sick and infirm go t to tell of our infamy. These self knobs took arms up against Kairos. That cannot be. Um, Alright, a fair point. <laughs> We've beaten their warriors in shame. Alright. Run for your lives. She holds blah blah blah, noble way to begin a finest moment, or maybe last stand, either way. Okay. Actually, this might be a tough battle. Maybe I'll change that conversation around a bit. If I get a chance. Gotta get somebody out there. Raven Ash protects. Maybe you should just throw shit at that guy. Alright. There's my archer. Guys disengaging and shit. Ouch. Knock my ass on the ground. Who did that? I'm starting to Oh shit, she's dead. Yeah, fuck that noise. Okay guys, we're gonna try that again. Gotta get focused. I need to use some items. I don't seem to be doing too well in this game. I guess it is on hard. I don't really know what I'm doing. Alright. And I haven't rested either. Seems like a big fight. Let's try that. I know it's kind of unrealistic. It would have left. Forces would have came. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's try something a little different. They're here. Weapons up. Blah blah blah. I gained fear. Good. Show mercy to the villagers. Yeah, that's what I want. A much better conversation around here. The captain lurches forward, ready to yell, but stumbles over her words as her response sinks in. Did you all hear the fate binder? Don't just stand there. Run like the scourge are chasing you. Guardsmen, stay behind. The moment you've been training for is about to come. Um, I'm not here for slaughter. I prefer to talk. Really, yada yada. Answer, your insurrection is doomed to failure. No bloodshed. Uh, Come out. Oops. Too late again. Okay. Well, look at all those villagers running away. What's happening down here? Get Eric to flash of iron. These assholes running around here. 
and you can cast this. Oh, she's going to be in trouble. Maybe I should do that. With her. On it. And he totally fucked himself. Okay. What is this spell? False pin? Shit, I don't know why I've been using this. Okay, let's just try to drop that there. Where is he going? Shit, man. Why would you do that? This is messy. I don't know if I can survive. Or maybe... Yeah, I'll do that after. Hopefully you can survive long enough. We should try that again! All you can do is attack. Okay, finally, this one's dead. Let's get this archer. And. This asshole. Maybe actually, let's do that instead. Drop one of these. I do need help. Shit. Oh, I got knocked unconscious. God damn it. That's unfortunate. Go in there. I don't know if this can be a success, guys. It's a tough fight. God damn, she's surrounded hard. And you need to change to me. I don't know why she just run out and disengage and get herself shot like ten times. Let's see something about this AI. All right, let's try that again. Right, definitely need a rest. And let's use some items. Revival, I forgot about that. Okay. Show mercy. Blah. blah, blah. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Shit. Let's try backing out and getting into a. Oh, that hurts. Maybe there'll be a choke point. That's way better. Sunder her and shoot her with the flaming arrow. Drop one of these and uh, thrust. And 
these. Just take me if you can. Coming up. Ah, this is frustrating. What's going on? Okay. Let's drop him. Oh, I see. Was that a fear or something? I don't know what that did. But it's fucking me up big time, whatever it is. Missed. Hurting. Shank. Rust. Rust. Alright, let's drop this cool move on her. Alright, let's just finish this joke off. Um, you. I guess there's still another one up here. Another two, no wonder it was so easy. Sunder. Finished him off there. Ouch. Alright. Oh, bring her up here, do I? Sybil can barely summon the strength to crawl, and after several attempts, she slips on her own pulling blood. She lifts her head to focus on you. She mouths several words, though no cogent sounds escapes her mouth, until she falls to her knees, bracing her side. I'm sure you're all young and alert and feeling unstoppable, but I need a break. Well done, Fate Binder. If this one survives its wounds, we even have a fresh present of the Archon of Secrets. He did request a personal audience with any leader who took the line. It's a mighty big if. These southern folk are a sickly bunch. Antio wags a hand dismissively, looking at her suffer. It's making me sick. I'll kill her and get this over with. Finish her off. She fought well enough. Do it. The words are a command. Hissed through blooded lips. With a decisive swing, you bring down her weapon on her skull and shatter her brains across the rooftop. Oh, I'm sorry. Didn't necessarily want to kill her, but... It appeared that Hecrocall Village had a larger pre enemy presence than we suspected. They also had a whole crop of iron weapons stockpiled here. Bet those innocent villagers were helping to gather batter for the salvage, or maybe stealing from our camp. There are so few iron weapons along the course. Seems likely the disfavored need to keep a better eye on the supply lines. And what of this village? The locals could have trapped the houses. So too risky to command air at this site. He shrugs, his tone becoming matter of fact. We should burn the town. It will cut off support, send a message, and the smoke signal will give the others a visible rallying point when crossing the town. Did we just waste all that blood and time capturing this place only to torch it at all? Now I adore the mystical power of fire in ways none of you could possibly understand. Even I think there's a time and place for arson. Fate Binder, kindly tell Antio he's free to burn his half of the village. The Scarlet Chorus will keep our half disposed, not smoke it. Hmm. If, if there are villagers still here, allow them to run. Then you may raise the settlement. The settlement should be preserved. If any here still made slaves or conscripts. Gain fear with Barrack, favor with Scarlet Chorus, wrath with Thunder and Guard. Oops. No, how to not? Oops, sorry. That would only prove a point. Too much trust in the locals, yada yada. Nothing better to do with their time. Yes, the edict looms overhead. I hear you. Give each survivor a chance at the voice's mercy, but the ungrateful be brutal. Fate Binder, you'd help enough. The Iron Marshal has sent word that the Archons are meeting at the disfavored camp, and my presence is required. 
to make haste back to the camp. Alright. Let's have a look at these fucking barrels. Nice. Iron greatsword. And a imperial bokala. I already have a crazy greatsword though. 1925. What's the difference? Way less damage, more armor penetration. Hmm. F1 has accuracy plus 4, this one has armor penetration 4. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know, I think I'll. Oh, I forgot he already has kind of a magic hat. It's the same. Let me keep that purple. Oh, well, let's see. Let's try it on. Yeah, let's keep that one. Alright. It deals better damage. The other one deals way better damage. Let's go. I gotta go find that shipment. Here it is. Let's hustle. Ooh. Goodies. Where's, uh, who am I missing? Ugh. Okay, here we go. Look at this guy. I've already told you, I'm not leaving my home. The old man slams his fist together for emphasis, glaring at you with a startled brow. Oh, you aren't those purple imbeciles, sir. I didn't mean to yell. I said it isn't what it used to be. My name is Moa. Been here since old King Auk and claimed the valley as part of his own. You're, here, you're with Kairos, right? He jabs a finger at you with the question. And Kairos brings peace, right? Well, I surrender. Now leave me to my home in privacy. Ah, uh, you must depart. I doubt you'd enjoy quartering any Scarlet Chorus if you stayed. The settlement is becoming a garrison. Let's see if I care. Yes, a garrison? No, it's not a pissing match. The whole garrison's going to get out of here. And let's check it out. Let's pick the lock. A list on old crumpled paper, simple items. Ooh, found some iron ingots. Shit, I want to get the other box. The old man barges in through the door behind you. You motherless warmonger! He attempts to arch you over with the pointed end of his walking stick. Get out! I found a forge bound iron in one of these barrels. The old man points his walking stick at your face. It's always the young pushing the old. I had no choice in the matter. Strange men appeared here a fortnight ago. They claimed to be supporters of the Vendian Guard, but I've never seen them before. He stamps his foot in a fit. I had no choice. These so-called freedom, freedom fighters threatened my life if I didn't comply. Villagers forcing you to help Vendian Guard? That sounds suspicious. Have you been listening to a damn thing? Hmm. Whatever. What's this? This momentum goblets. Oh, multi strike does. Oh, oh they're already weighing momentum goblets. Yeah. Never mind. All right, let's get out of here. All right, looks like that's done. Get out of here. And head back to town. So let's go to Scarlet Course Camp first. In case there's anything going on there. And then the disfavored. Okay, 
this. Death no. Do you have anything saving me? I don't think so. Well, well. I recognize the fate matter of Tunin when I see her. Not quite what I was expecting, but impressive nonetheless, since you're making a name for yourself. Uh, she points a long finger at you. You know this before, you let it get to your head. I only kill interesting foes. The ones on the battlefield would call themselves out with storied weapons or fancy standards. You might think twice before making yourself stand out. Plus, we've got enough useless spots dying for the Overlord's good cause as it is. All our hard recruits seem good for us, piling up <coughs> as a tripping hazard to those of us having a proper bit of carnage sport. The Fury effortlessly spins a bronze sword about in our hand. Either they need to learn to fight, or we need to toughen our recruitment standards again. I wonder if there's anything new I can get out of her. I guess not. Oh, oops, sorry. Alright, let's get out of here. How about you? Where are my manners? I forgot to cast my incantation of crying like a coddled north girl over a few dead soldiers. The blood chanter pounds the staff to the ground. The sunburnt face twisting into a harsh scowl. I will not be lectured for a failure to show widowed weakness. Now where's that? His vision snaps to you. Fate Binder. Lord Binder. The disfavored soldier waves you closer. We've been waiting for you. What if Narat's dogs went wild? At least he's done the right thing to present himself here for a proper trial. I'd like to yank his teeth out, and like it to be with your blessing. So I can sure use your judgment on the matter. It seems we meet again, Binder. Bitterquit visibly pales beneath his face paint when he recognizes you. He bows deeply, head tip forward for several moments longer than he seems necessary. The disfavored have accused me of multiple murders. I'm not guilty of these charges and have nothing to hide. He grins from ear to ear. The truth can only exonerate me, so I'll happily submit to your judgment. Murder. Three weeks ago, we were in the eastern end of the valley. We were on assignment to keep Vendorian guard runners from leaving and reinforcements from coming in. Bitterquip and some Scarlet Furies came with us for his voice falls flat for awkward phrase. Support. Well, our trail puts us between two Vendorian guard patrols. Thinking they have us outnumbered, they draw bronze, we close ranks and fight together. It's a rather rousing melee, and the Oathbreakers give as good as they get. But among the dead, a dozen conscripts and two disfavored. You dance around the important details, Chanter. The soldier jabs a finger at the bitter quit. Right as the enemy spots us, you started working your mystic symbol. I saw panic in their eyes when we first stumbled onto each other in that clearing. But once his magic started flying, the only thing in their eyes was bloodlust. What sort of magic did he use? I don't talk the craft outside of the guild, but I can't defend myself with silence. He clears his throat. I invoked a spell of frenzy and directed the chant at the enemy. They could move faster than our party, and letting them escape would undermine the mission, so I fueled them with rage to get them to stand up and fight. There, he just came right out and admitted it. The Oathbreakers usually can't fight their way out of a burlap sack, but he grants them a gift of a stink badger's courage. The warrior rests his head in his hand, madness pure and simple. The furies were dumbfounded and folded, and that's when Devona and Sevius the Swift dove into the fray. Devona caught a javelin in the eye, just stupidly bad luck. As for Sevius, after the battle had been run through nineteen times, Graven Ash can save him. Savaros has his facts in order. I would concur with his assessment. Is that all you have to say? You are not enlightened. Blah blah blah. Bitterquip is citing Magician's Folly. If in battle for Kairos glory, a mage inadvertently harms someone protected by Kairos peace, the mage is legal, not legally at fault. Alright. I do know my law. I'm a fate finder. Ah, oh, it's too bad I don't have more lore. Hmm. It's too bad. That is kind of lame. Meant. The law isn't meant to do anything beyond what it says. Already passed judgment. Shields him from negligence. This is not such a case. Yeah. Wrath of his favorite favor to them. That's good. Alright. Actually, yeah, I forgot. It looks like this area is kind of reset with quests. So I'm going to actually save it here, guys, and take a little break. And uh, see you guys next time.